Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to my workshop. And this is my metal tech scaffolding. This video will assemble this piece and talk about why I don't recommend it and why I decided to keep it and buy a second one. This is the Metal Tech Job Site Series 6 foot Baker scaffolding with new Safe Climb, which is anything but safe. It's already out of the box because the box was falling apart and that was the only way I was able to get it out of the van by myself. The assembly instructions are only six steps, which I kind of didn't even follow. Step one, put the feet on. Don't forget to pin them in place. Step two, attach the side supports. It's easier to do this if you lay the side supports on the ground and then attach the ends to it. See what I'm doing here? Don't do that. I'm being stupid. Don't forget to pin them in place. That's better. That's how you should attach the side supports. And again, pin it in place. Then you need to stand it up. It's easier to stand up if you lock the feet first. The platform locks in place with two levers. And you're done. That's it. Check of her sta stability. See how much it rocks. This is the safe step feature, which doesn't open far enough for it to stay open on its own. So if you're going to use it, you have to climb up through pushing it up with your shoulder. It's really difficult getting through this opening and in the end I only ever used it once or twice. I found it easier to climb up the outside which I felt was safer. Can you see my disappointment? Oh and look in order to make it safe you need to buy the guardrails and the outriggers. Sorry about the noise. It's the windy season and the wind is blowing at around 30 miles an hour today. Like I said before, I decided to keep it mainly because it was cheaper to buy a second one and the outriggers than it would have been to rent scaffolding for the time I needed it. And I needed scaffolding so I could get insulation way up there. You see I have a couple of uh, panels I still need to install. Um, I, I do not recommend this scaffolding because as it is alone it's very unstable, it's difficult to use. The safety feature features are actually a hazard. Um, but I found with, with the stabilizers and a second unit, it became much more stable. And then if you take a piece of ratchet strap on either side and cinch it down, it doesn't rock very much at all. Um, but if I were to use this at work, my safety officer would slap my wrist or worse. Let's just say they wouldn't. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. And I hope I'm going to subscribe to it. And stay tuned for more updates.